Hello everyone, uh, this is 16th Steve805 doing my very first 1/6 scale figure review and I thought I would start with my custom Bucky Winter Soldier, well Winter Soldier not Bucky, Winter Soldier uh, figure. I wanted to get my hands on the actual uh, Hot Toys one, but he was way too expensive, and I uh, wasn't into these figures when he first came out, so, and I don't, didn't feel like spending $300 on him, so, got into my head to make my own, and was lucky enough to find this awesome body that came with the, the arm, as you can see here, and I didn't realize it at the time, but the arm is... Um, the arm in the original one is not shiny, and this one is super shiny, and it just looks so much more screen accurate. And I was a little wary at first, but I got it, and I could not be happier with it. So the entire body, um, I believe I paid a little over $100, $100 for it's the entire body with the metal arm, and it also comes with the hand sculpt as well, which is great. And then what I did... The peg uh, was just, uh, you know, skin tone, so I just painted it uh, silver. You can see that, and it tr turned out great. I mean, it's the you know the dull silver matches his the paint on his hand, so it just it turned out great. And <clears throat> starting at the bottom, I have. Uh, one six scale Captain America shield. I actually bought this because I was going to build my own Captain America, and it actually came with two, which was awesome. And so I came up with the idea to distress this one because it came, you know, brand new. So I just distressed it. I <laughs> I literally took a rock and just scratched the heck out of it, and then took a lighter and to do some burn marks on there, and actually used some um, ash from a candle and just put it on a paper towel and just rubbed it all over it so give it that nice distressed look I got him some really great uh, I just typed in 1 6th tactical boots and it came up with these and they are I could not be happy with them the, the different uh, color tones is awesome they're not just straight black because I've seen some straight black ones and I'm like oh I wish they had a little bit more character to them and so these ones fantastic and then I got some tactical pants I just typed in 1 6 tactical pants and just got some pants uh, I really I'm super happy with the the knee pads that that I was able to find I went through a lot of different knee pads and I was really really happy with these ones so and again I mean any anything you see here I just basically typed in 1 6 uh, knee pads 1 6 tactical pants 1 6 tactical boots I found these awesome uh, leg pouches and again, one sixth leg pouch or one sixth thigh pouch. And these little clips are amazing. The little clips like actually open like you wouldn't run a real on a real pouch like that. And so I found him that awesome one. And then this was a last minute edition. I got him this awesome <laughs> Luger. It's it's brilliant. I love it. It looks so great. And I thought the the silver was nice because I was just gonna get him a, a regular a regular gun, but this one the silver is great because it just it makes it pop. You know, I didn't want to just go you know black 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 black. It's kind of boring. So that thing just really makes it pop. And plus it's, it goes nicely with his arm. So and plus the silver on the shield. So just awesome. And then it's funny the um, the vest that he's wearing that the official Winter Soldier is wearing, I don't really like it. I liked it initially, but then when I started doing my own research and, or not research, but once I started doing my own, you know, looking for, you know, what I could give him vest-wise, I found this, again, 1-6 tactical vest, and I love it. Like, I, I like this so much better than the one that he actually comes with. It's really great. And so I got him that, and it has these cool little things here. It's really great and then I was like okay well he needs a belt so I got him it took me a while to find a, a belt that I really liked but this is the belt here the bottom one and it's actually uh, I believe it's a grenade holds the grenades for a grenade launcher belt uh, Boba Fett actually has this and it's the pouches are facing forward but 
I just I liked it and I thought it would look cool and plus I like the having the double the double buckles here I thought it looked really cool and then I also got him this <clears throat> I believe it's a Glock uh, pistol here and I kind of don't want to take it out because it's a, it's a tad precarious it's actually holding on to the the loose strap here it's actually holding that in place so I kind of it is removable and again just one sixth I mean, put in like one sixth gun with holster and man I just I absolutely love his arm. Look at the reflection on that. It's fantastic. It really is fantastic. And then uh, the shirt, coming to this side, the shirt that he's wearing is actually the official uh, Hot Toys Winter Soldier uh, shirt. So it's just, it's the undershirt here. So it's this. And then it's uh, actually around his neck too. So it's like a turtleneck. So that was, that was really cool. And I don't, I don't think that I paid much for that. Maybe like 30 bucks, 20, 30 bucks, something like that. So that, cause this, I, I love it. I love the, the different tones and the underneath here, it has like this almost purple, uh, different tone. I, I really, I really love that shirt. So I was like, okay, you know, instead of just getting a pure black body shirt, clingy body shirt, I was like, okay, I'm going to go with that. Cause I, I do really like that. And then I did get him this elbow pad, <clears throat> excuse me, and again, one-sixth elbow pad, and I was really happy with that, and I didn't want to use the other one, obviously, because I think that would just look silly on his metal arm, so. And then the gun, I actually, I bought a, a one-sixth lot, so I had a ton of different guns, but and I had him with a different one before, but this one was more screen accurate because this is the actual, I believe it's an M4 that he has in the movie. And so this isn't the official one. I just, I found it 1 6 I don't know, assault rifle or something like that. Actually, I may have put in 1 6 M4 and it came up with this one and it's, it's fantastic. There's actually a grenade in there. I thought this moved, but I guess it doesn't. That's okay. And then the scope did not come with it. The scope actually uh, took off uh, another gun that I had and just glued it on there. I just... Thought it would look better and it actually it, I think it looks a lot better than it helps with the you know you have silver and black and black so it's it's a nice little nice little touch and then also if you turn them around again I have this as another one of the guns that that I had and I gave him I believe it's a browning uh, sniper I just had that strapped over him and I liked how that how the strap again broke up the black it just it really makes it pop and then I like how the barrel comes over his shoulder like that it just gives him a nice a nice look and you know he used the sniper rifle to shoot Nick Fury when he was in Cap's apartment so I was like well you know probably has a sniper rifle on him and then this is another one of the official uh, Winter Soldier pieces it's his disc gun and the disc actually comes out of there and this one I didn't want to put another strap on him, so I, I literally just tied it because it it, uh, it has that little hole there. It didn't come with any of the straps or anything for that hole, but I just got a piece of string and uh, literally tied it to his belt right there. So it's just it's just hanging right there. I, I don't think they show where he keeps it in the movie, but I thought that looked cool. So he has his disc gun, and then finally onto his face. It's funny, I or his head. I bought. A cheaper sculpt and it had real hair but I, I could not for the life of me figure out why I didn't like it until it finally hit me is that his hair was it was too short like it was even shorter than it is here and it just it just looked silly but the nice thing with that was that it came with the mask and I, I believe this is a knockoff mask but it came with the mask and the mask didn't fit too well so I ended up super gluing it, but I went back and um, I was like, okay, this one, uh, I hate to uh, buy another head, but it just, it's not working. So I found, this is the official Bucky head, or Winter Soldier head, but it didn't come with a mask. If you want to buy the mask, or the head that comes with the mask, it's it's a heck of a lot more expensive. So I think I probably paid like 30 bucks for the head and just took the mask from the bootleg one. And I didn't even have to super glue it because it, with his hair being so tight, um, I was able to just, you know fit the mask in there and so I you know I if I ever want to take the mask off I can I don't really want to right now because you know I have it perfectly where I like it but I mean I could take that off if I wanted to and then I was going to take some of that um candle uh ash and uh do his eyes but when he has the mask on uh he doesn't have that or he might but he has his goggles over and I wanted to get his goggles but they were too expensive. I was like, I don't want to pay that much just for the goggles. Besides, I, I like having his eyes like that. And 
yeah, that's about it. And so grand total, I think after all is said and done, this thing cost me about 200 bucks with everything. And so, you know, 200 bucks sounds like a lot, but if you want the official Winter Soldier, I mean, you're going to be spending, what, 300 350 maybe even $400 on him. So it's just, it's crazy how much he is. And honestly, and I'm not just saying this because I like saving, you know, 150 to 200 bucks. I honestly like mine better. And, you know, it's probably just because, you know, it has sentimental value that I'm sure that's, um, that is part of it. But I mean, I honestly like how mine looks better than the the official one. And so I could not be happier with how this turned out. So that is pretty much it on the review. And again, like if you want to build your own, basically just type in one sixth whatever you're looking for, one sixth gun with holster, one sixth uh winter soldier disc gun, one sixth uh sniper rifle, one sixth M4 assault rifle, one sixth knee pads, one sixth tactical boots, tactical vest. I don't know if I mentioned that that's what that is. It's a one sixth tactical vest. Um one sixth leg pouch, you know, and you can just, you know, price it out, try and find the the one that you like the best and that's about it. And then just, you know, start building. It took a while for all this stuff to come in, but I, I again I could not be could not be happier with it, and so there you go. Uh, so I'll probably make more of these videos in the future. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've only been into this one sixth scale collecting for I don't know, a couple months, four months, something like that. But yeah, it's so much fun. So okay, guys, this is one six Steve eight oh five. You can find me on Instagram actually under one six Steve eight oh five. I have pictures of all my figures. And, uh, alright, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye.